today. From a high-profile diamond merchant and a jeweler to now a fugitive on the run, from the man who had weaved designer dreams to a man wanted for a 13,000 crore scam allegations. Here's a look now at the rise and fall of Mehul Choksi. An event was held on 5th of November 2015 at the Prime Minister's house to unveil gold schemes, to tap into the yellow metal lying idle at Indian homes. Amongst the guests at the PM house that day was a diamond trader and jeweller from Mumbai, a certain Mehul Choksi. Now, six years later, the same Mehul Choksi is no longer a celebrated diamond trader, but is an alleged fraudster. Accused of a 13,000 crore scam and under arrest in faraway Dominica. The Indian government, under his one-time host, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, is trying to bring Mehul Choksi back to India to face trial. Mehul Choksi was born on 5th of May, 1959, in Mumbai. Mehul's father, Chinubhai Choksi, was a diamond trader and operated Gitanjali Gems, a well-known diamond jewelry chain in the city. Mehul learned the trade under his father and then, in 1985, took over the 50 crore business from Chinubhai. He used to say that his dream was to make Gitanjali Gems the largest diamond jewelry chain in the world. Mehul Choksi's style of doing business was aggressive, taking risks and cutting corners. By the 1990s, it was paying off. And by the early 2000s, he was well on his way to fulfill his dreams. By 2005, Mehul Choksi's diamond and gem-studded jewelry were being sold at more than 4,000 outlets around the world. By 2006, he had even bought over a well-known US firm and had begun to be noticed internationally. It was around this time that a son of his Antwerp-based relative came to Mumbai as Mehul's understudy to learn how the diamond trade went in India. It has been alleged that Nirav Modi came here to learn the dirty tricks of the trade from Mehul Choksi. Sources say it started with the passing of poor quality diamonds as original good quality ones. An investigation by the Enforcement Directorate later established that the original cost of Mehul Choksi's diamonds were a mere 3 to 10% of the price that he charged his customers. In business, there can be ups and downs. And it was true of Mehul Choksi's business as well. His Gitanjali group of companies suffered huge hits in 2016 and 2017. It is alleged that it was at this point in time that Mehul Choksi, along with Nirav Modi, hatched a plan to siphon off money from the Punjab National Bank. The plan was simple in its mastery. On paper, Mehul Choksi and Nirav Modi had a good business track record and their credit rating was above suspicion. So the duo allegedly bribed one Gokul Nath Shetty, an employee of the Punjab National Bank, to register a forged letter of undertaking. Using the letter of undertaking, Mehul Choksi and Nirav Modi got more than 13,000 crore rupees from the Punjab National Bank in 2017, only to launder it and to siphon it off. Using forged documents, Mehul Choksi got an all clear report from Mumbai police that established him as a good citizen and that he had no pending criminal cases against him. Sources from within India's investigative setup now say that in reality, Mehul Choksi already had cases pending against him at several courts in India at this time. In November 2017, using his Mumbai police clean chip, Mehul Choksi applied for and got the citizenship of Antigua and Barbuda under the investment scheme there. In January 2018, Mehul Choksi left India for USA. This was just days before the CBI filed an FIR against Mehul Choksi, Nirav Modi and others in the PNB case. There are whispers that he was tipped off. In June 2018, a Mumbai court issued a non-bailable warrant against Mehul Choksi, 
But when India contacted US authorities to extradite Mehul Choksi, it was found that the fugitive diamond trader had already left USA a month ago. Mehul Choksi surfaced in Antigua, flaunting his brand new Caribbean nationality away from the reach of India's law enforcement agencies.